Welcome to Tea Time Tarot. I am the Empress. I'm happy to be here with you guys today. Let's talk, y'all. Let's get the tea. Let's get the tea. What's the tea, boo-boo? Let's see what we're going to get. All right. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus. Okay. So if you have Libra anywhere in that, that part of your chart, you can utilize this. Um, and if you're cross-watching, you know, because we have cross-watchers, they like to watch and spawn y'all too. You know, hey, cross-watchers. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all go ahead and click the bell to subscribe, okay? If you are new, go ahead and click the bell for the notification. Get on the notification game. All right, we would love to have you here. If you would like to book a personal reading, that information is going to be in the drop box below. As well, guys, you can check out my website. That information is in the drop box below as well. All right, so let's talk. Let's see what we got for the Libra. This is going to be for the month of November. So this is going to touch bases on November. And we're going to see what's coming towards you, what energy could be coming towards you. All right. So this is a general read. It's not for everybody. If you want a personal read for yourself, you got to book a personal, okay? So let's get this out the way. Let's see what we got for my Libras. What message is there for Libras? Libras. <laughs> I feel like for some of you Libras, not for all, but for some, you may feel like you know exactly what it is that you deserve, okay? You know that you deserve something that is balanced, okay? Which that's what Libras, we know that y'all are about balance and finding harmony in a situation, you may feel like, you know, you may come off as a little bit of controlling, but it's I don't feel like it's actually control. I just feel like you know what you deserve. All right, so there may be someone here that you could be thinking about romantically that you have very intimate moments with or there's someone um, that you're thinking of or you are actually doing that, okay? Because we got passion here. I feel like you're you are open to love okay for singles i feel like you are open to love okay but you also want to have someone that you can trust you want to be able to trust this person and i feel like you're not up for the games like you can sniff a unrequited situation a mile away okay you want something that is balanced um give and take all right so let's see what we got for you we're gonna put this to the side let's see what we get for the Libra. <laughs> Give me a message for Libras in love. What messages are there for the Libra? Oh, let me light some sage really quick, guys. Before we get into this tea session. Okay. Now, before we get into this tea session, y'all, let's go ahead and put one in the air. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. Libra. What messages are there for my Libra for November? For November. What message is there for Libra? We're leaving out of Libra season. We're going in Scorpio. Well, we are in Scorpio season. Let's see. Okay, we got the Eight of Cups and the Justice card. You guys, this energy here at the bottom of the deck. So, some of you could be dealing with the Pisces or Libra, like yourself, with someone here. Um, you know, you're walking away from a situation. You're walking away. You're learning how to walk away from a you know situations that no longer serve you. So, in the month of November, some of you are leaving something behind. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh okay. I feel like for some of you, 
Your intuition is on fire. Like you had this itch. <laughs> you had this niggling feeling that something was either going to blow out of proportion or get messy. Okay, it could be involving a male. Okay, this male is very, very, you know, passionate, uh, may give you some good loving, might be real, real fun, you know. But what I'm getting as well is that someone here could already be in a, in a uh, commitment, even a marriage. Um... With this fire sign here, I'm getting fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Or someone here knew. This could be you in this situation. This could just be a situation that is brought to the light, okay? Because I feel like there is something that is getting ready to, like, happen all of a sudden. But the reason that I feel like the situation could get messy is because we have the five of wands here, this is disagreements, this is arguments, this is fighting, okay? Um, someone definitely could be already in a commitment, a marriage, or living with someone. And I'm getting that you're deciding to make a final decision, um, or this is a big awakening for you. You're going to wake up to something here. I'm getting someone here as a wife. I'm just putting that out there. This is a storyline. Because I'm getting the four of wands and the empress. So that makes me feel like the woman of the house. Okay. But with that high priestess there. And that tower and that five of wands. is letting me know that out of the blue. Things start to go all over the place. Okay. And I feel like it's in regards to um, with this King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Ooh, all right, that one to jump out. We got the Death card, okay? Scorpio's energy. Hmm. Okay. I'm seeing three people here. There's a lot of people here. They're all women. I'm getting Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody is uh, giving someone some gifts or money. And somebody's stalking somebody. Somebody's stalking somebody, whether it be on social media or um, somebody's stalking somebody. But I feel like it's over the internet. And I'm getting like, you don't think that this person knows. Where's the high priestess here? Yeah, see, your intuition is telling you to wait on something. Your intuition is telling you to wait, to do nothing for right now. And I feel like you may feel like that. Because I feel like you're giving, this person is giving you gifts and giving you all of the attention and putting you on a pedestal. Um, but so I'm getting that someone is stalking. I'm getting that someone is stalking. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Okay. I'm getting like, someone's worried about my relationship. Worried about, I'm getting like, I'm hearing, this. <laughs> I'm literally hearing Libra say that. You worried about my relationship. 
Why is the Ten of Cups here? I'm hearing like this person could be giving you whatever you want. Oh, I'm seeing as well too. You want someone to stop calling you. You don't want their money. Okay. You don't want what they have to offer. Someone is is calling you. So someone is calling you, blowing up your phone. Why is the tower card here? Oh, so you got something to say. <laughs> you got something to say. Okay, the tower. Okay, so you've been withholding this information. You don't think that they know. So it's like, if your girl only knew that I would like to kick it with you, what would she do? Oh, okay, okay. Why is the five of wands here? So you're saying I get whatever I want. They be blowing up. They call it my phone. See, yeah. See, you you coming to get some straightening. This is you, the Justice card, and the Five of Wands. Hmm. Maybe you were trying to stay out of it. Because I'm getting that this is the third party. Maybe you were trying to stay out of it, but somebody just involved you. Why is the Four of Wands here in the past? Ooh, Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So you was good. Like you, you were very stable, um, and you're good. You're good. You don't. I don't feel like you need this person for anything. Like you're doing well. You're doing good. Yep, you're not accepting the offer because this person either lives with someone or they're married or they already got something going on. So you're not accepting their offer. Yep, you rejected. You're rejecting their offer and you want this person to stop calling. Okay, so you're rejecting phone calls. All right, so moving ahead with the judgment card here. Yeah, this King of Wands. It's, it's like you don't think that they know or they don't you you feel like or this could be another scenario as well this king of wands energy may not know this about you or vice versa but i'm getting that this is some tea okay so why is the judgment card here All right, temperance. Definitely Sagittarius is energy here, but I'm getting that. I'm getting that somebody's running around playing. Knight of Wands, Three of Cups, King of Swords. Okay, why is temperance here? I'm getting like finally making a decision, finally waking up to something, realizing something. That this person is definitely a player. Okay, with this Knight of Wands, they're they're in and out, in and out your life, yeah, and causing a lot of stress and worry. Okay, so I feel like you woke up to you know the fact that this person is all over the place. Okay, causing you all type of stress. Look at this. I'm getting like someone. You want someone to stop calling you, stop messaging you, stop reaching out to you you want this person to stop reaching out to you because you told them that you were in a relationship that you got something going on and this person is getting on your nerves they keep reaching out they keep reaching out to you causing problems starting stuff why is the five of cups here
Mm. They feel like you aren't answering your phone. Like you're not answering your phone. You got two of swords and the five of cups. You're not responding. Oh, the ace of wands. You're not accepting their offer. They want something from you. Um, and I get that it's, a, it's sex, okay? Why is the ace of wands here? Hangman, Three of Swords, King of Pentacles, Lovers. Hmm. They're waiting on you to need something. They're waiting on you to need them for something. Wow. They're waiting to see if you need them. And they're trying to keep you close, King of Cups, Hermit, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male. Okay, I'm getting that this person could be older. Okay, why is the Ace of Swords here? It's a source here. Okay, the seven of cups. I'm getting lots of spying. Okay. I'm getting there's lots of spying going on. Lots of spying. Like, and I'm getting that there's confusion all surrounded around this situation. Seven of cups and the three of swords. Yes, there's a lot of people here. Then, then my phone is ringing. This person is blowing you up. Blowing up your phone. But I'm getting like the truth. You're afraid of this truth coming out. Uh, that there's possibly like a third party situation going on here. So you want this person to like to, you know, sit back, chill. Okay. I don't I don't want my my other person to think nothing's going on. So, you know, I don't I don't need your money. I don't need nothing from you. Starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Why is Empress here? The Ten of Pentacles, okay? See, I'm getting that there's a wife, okay? And then the moon, okay? Yeah, there's something that's hidden. Like somebody's hiding something here. Somebody's hiding something. Or this person is like offering you money or something to that nature or trying to find. Yeah, see, nine of pentacles. Now, this either can go both ways. It's like you good regardless. You straight. Okay, because the empress is Libra's energy as well. Ten of pentacles is being financially stable. That's also the long longevity card as well as the marriage card. But then we got the nine of pentacles. So it's like I could do good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I keep hearing it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But this person is like all on your tail. I won't leave you alone. <laughs> Blowing up your phone. See, yeah, king of pentacles. Look at all these pentacles. Like... I feel like either you're already financially stable. See, look, yeah, see, I'm getting a spy. Somebody's spying, watching from the sidelines. Yep, there it is. The page of swords. There we go again. Somebody calls too much, messages too much, doing too much, begging. I'm getting like begging. They're begging you, practically begging you. Yeah, see, the B, the two of pentacles and the, the queen of wands, like, they're begging you, like, to, to come lay up with them, come chill with them, come be with them. They want you around, like, they're trying to put you in, in this position, you know, to be either like on the side 
or whatever, but I don't feel like that's something that you want. I don't feel like you trust this person. Um, and you just don't feel like it's right. There's not enough uh, attraction or chemistry to keep it going. I just feel like you don't feel like it's, it's right. <laughs> it's not the right pick for you. Let's see what advice we got. Now, that was some tea. Okay. What messages are there for Libra? Leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. Okay. Then we got trust the niggle. What is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? That's the same thing. Like your intuition may be telling you to take some type of leap or risk. To break the chain. Okay. You need to break some type of chain. The initiation. You go first. Deeper punishment. Okay. So let's see. I do want to see why leap is here. Four of Pentacles. See, you've been holding back. And I feel like there's something here. Like, you're holding back from something. Okay? You're holding back. Because either you're married or they're married. Because the Four of Wands was at. Yeah, see, somebody keeps calling you. The Eight of Wands and the King of Cups. Okay? So, the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. But they're con contacting you, telling you how they feel. See, this is you guys' energy, okay? Yeah, wanting you to possibly do some things that, you know, do some things that you really normally, you know, <laughs> don't really want to do with them. Yeah. See, like I said, you you feel like the truth of this may come out and cause confusion. Like the three of swords, that's like, you know, third party energy. I don't feel like you really want to be involved in this. Yeah, see, you don't want this to come out. Seven of swords and the sun. Now, like, you don't want this to be exposed. See, yeah. Yeah, you don't want this to be exposed. So, I feel like you may, you possibly, like, it's tempting. It's tempting. It's real tempting. But I don't know if you're if you're going to do it because I don't feel like you trust the situation. Break the chain. Yeah, see, I feel like you're trying to uh, break the cycle of this person flirting with you because the Page of Cups is definitely like flirty energy, messaging you, reaching out to you, yep, calling you, like I said, Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. And it's starting confusion, like, it's starting confusion. Yep, Knight of Swords. Uh-huh. And then we got the Initiation and the Ten of Pentacles. See, someone here is married. Uh, or it's already in something like I'm getting like already tied to something or somebody is very financially stable somebody is very financially stable like they have their own business or something but I'm getting like going back to work back and forth from work for work Get a chance to talk to you or see you. See, we got you here, the Queen of Swords. But I feel like when this person goes on break or something like that, like they want to call you or reach out to you or something like that. But I feel like, do you trust this situation is the question. Yeah, something about call you back. So this is someone that I feel like you may be communicating with, but you don't really know where it's headed or what you want to do about it. So, Knight of Pentacles, you may be move, taking your time, moving a little slow with this. Um, something here about the tower. There's something about the situation that's just, like, shocking. It'll be shocking if it were to get out. Yeah, and see, you don't want no drama. Death and a five of swords. And the Queen of Wands. Like, you don't really want no drama. This is possibly something that's supposed to be kept a secret. And you possibly want to keep it that way. 
Um, I don't see you like, you know, making any moves. <laughs> I feel like you're kind of holding back or refraining from making any moves because you just really kind of like undecided about it. All right. So I hope this message was helpful for you guys. I will check back in with you guys next week. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao for now.